Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American science fiction and fantasy movie called Colossal. The movie begins with a little girl who is in the park with her mother. Apparently, the girl is looking for her doll which has fallen around the park. After finding the doll, they see a giant monster suddenly appears and walks through the city. 25 years later, a drunk woman enters an apartment in New York City. Her name is Gloria and she works as an unemployed writer. Unfortunately, she really likes to get drunk every day. On the other hand, her boyfriend, Tim, looks annoyed with her drunken behavior as she tries to explain her situation to her boyfriend. Because of this, Tim gets frustrated and tells her that he has packed up her things, wanting her to get out of his apartment. Their relationship automatically ends while she still cannot believe it. Soon, Gloria decides to return to her hometown in New Hampshire. While she is walking alone on the streets, she accidentally meets her childhood friend, Oscar. He owns a nearby bar inherited by his late father. He warmly welcomes Gloria and invites her to his bar that night. There, Gloria meets his other friends named Joel and Garth. They are also happy to welcome her to the bar. Later, Oscar visits Gloria's house, bringing a television into her house which looks completely unfurnished. Gloria did not tell Oscar that the reason she came back to New England was because her ex-boyfriend kicked her out of his apartment, but she tells him that she came back here for work reasons. On the other side, Oscar already knew the real reason she came back here from their conversation last night when she was drunk and unconscious. Because of that, he offers a job at his bar, which she accepts. Sadly, working at the bar aggravates Gloria's alcohol problem. After each shift, she drinks heavily with Oscar, Joel, and Garth until morning. Somehow, she unintentionally sleeps on a bench near the playground one morning. At the same time, the giant monster reappears again in Seoul, leaving death and destruction in its wake. After that, Oscar shows Gloria the recording news about the giant monster earlier. When she looks at the news, she notices something odd about the monster. The monster was scratching his head, which is the same thing she did earlier. She also notices something interesting in the previous recording of the monster. It looks like the monster was carrying something on his back. The following day, she heads to the playground around the same time the monster starts appearing on the news. At first, she raises her left hand, ending with her raising both hands. She then rushes back to her house to see the news about the monster. Sure enough, the monster mimics exactly what Glory did just now. She then realizes that she is the one who caused the monster to manifest and can remotely control it. With this discovery, she reveals the secret to Oscar and his friends. She also invites them to go to the playground together the next day exactly at 8.05 am, which is the time when the monster starts appearing in Seoul. Upon their arrival, Gloria dances in the playground while they watch the newsfeed of the monster mimicking her movements simultaneously. Oscar and his friends are shocked about it. After a while, they inform Gloria that there are helicopters launching a missile at the monster, which physically affects her as well. She makes a punching gesture, causing the monster to lash out and destroy the helicopter including its pilot. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, she panics and collapses as Oscar walks towards her. After she wakes up, she watches the news and finds out that the fallen monster caused serious destruction, killing many people. Shortly after, Oscar comes to her house and shows the newspaper that he also manifested in Seoul but as a giant robot which seems to be talking to the monster. The two of them try to find out what really happened before. Gloria believes that everything has to do with their past when they were kids, but they still cannot remember what happened at that time because it happened so long ago. Most importantly, she tries to make amends for the South Korean people in the media. She goes back to the playground and asks everyone to stay away from the monster. She then writes the message on the ground while the monster spells out an apology in Korean which Oscar's friend translated beforehand. Since then, she begins to avoid both the playground and alcohol. It turns out that Oscar secretly keeps his feelings for Gloria all this time, but unfortunately Gloria falls in love with Joel. After spending the night with Joel, Gloria discovers a drunken Oscar in the playground. He is controlling the robot to taunt South Korea. Fortunately. Gloria manages to make him leave the playground after a tense confrontation. Besides that, Oscar thinks that something happened between Gloria and Joel, causing him to be jealous. That night, he drunkenly insults Garth at the bar. 
As a result, Garth chooses to leave the bar. Meanwhile, Oscar demands Gloria for another beer, but she refuses, causing him to be angry. He also threatens that he will return to the playground. Since Gloria knows a drunk Oscar would mess up, she immediately chases him into the playground. Long story short, the two of them have a fight again. It ends with Gloria quitting her job, but he still forces her to work there. The following morning, Joel suddenly comes to Gloria's house with a lot of furniture. He says that it is a gift from Oscar who apologizes to her. A few days later, Gloria goes to the nearby hotel where Tim is staying after she receives an email from him. He arrives in the town to see Gloria, but he is eventually irritated and dismissive about her life situation working as a waiter at the bar. Then they go to the bar where Oscar is already drunk. After he sees Gloria coming with Tim, Oscar provokes a confrontation by setting off fireworks indoors in order to scare Tim. Before leaving, Tim tells Gloria that he will be returning to New York tomorrow and asks her to go with him. At night, Gloria is surprised to see Oscar somehow in her house. He goes there to prevent her from going back to New York with Tim. Therefore, she can remember her past events with Oscar as a kid. Through a flashback, it was seen that Gloria and Oscar as children are on their way to school. She brings her soul paper diorama of soul as a school project. Suddenly, her diorama was blown by the wind over playground. Thus, Oscar helps her to take it. However, he was jealous because Gloria's diorama was better than his own, causing him to smash it. Seeing this from afar, Gloria becomes angry and triggers lightning that strikes them. Oscar's toy robot and her toy reptilian monster. Back in the present, Gloria finally recognizes Oscar's manipulative behavior, combined with destroyed photos and other clues around his house. Everything arises from his self-hatred. She then calls Tim and resolves to leave town with him. Knowing this, Oscar becomes angry with her. The two of them start fighting and smashing furniture. In the end, they race for the playground. She arrives first and attempts to fight him. Unluckily, he is able to incapacitate her and eventually destroys a large portion of soul from the playground while Gloria is lying helplessly on the ground. He also says that Gloria is free to leave if she wishes, but if every morning she remains absent, he will take a walk through the playground. Not long after, she gets a brilliant idea to stop Oscar's actions. She decides to fly to South Korea. Upon her arrival, she apologizes to Tim for not going with him and also insists that she does not owe him an explanation. Meanwhile, Oscar gets drunk and walks into the playground at 8.05 am. As the result, the giant robot manifests in Seoul as the city is being evacuated. The people run away from the robot but not for Gloria who is heading towards it. At the same time, Oscar sees Gloria's monster suddenly appear at the playground back home. Seeing this, Oscar panics and he immediately runs away from the monster in terror. Luckily, Gloria manages to catch him using her hand, causing the robot is being picked up by the non-seen force. Oscar desperately shouts, begging the monster to put him down. Gloria instantly makes a throwing gesture, followed by the monster who flings Oscar as well as his giant robot far over the horizon. People in Seoul cheer as the robot is gone from the city. After everything is done, she walks into an empty bar in Seoul. While sitting in her chair, she asks the bartender if she would like to hear an incredible story. However, the bartender offers her a drink instead. At the end, she can only sigh about it. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.